Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm going to be looking at quite possibly the nerdiest creation so far in Kerbal Space Program. And I say that in a good way. I mean, I think that Kerbal Space Program is a sandbox, and the fact that people do amazing sandboxy things like this is a testament to both their own creativity and the game's scope for doing crazy interesting things. So, I'll just show you what's going on here. If I press 1, you see this background, there's these objects moving back and forth. These are probe bodies and they're all hooked up in an interesting way. There are fuel lines you see between stages. On this side you have another probe body with fuel tanks attached and it is hooked up. So after pressing 1 and letting these move you'll see that this light is now illuminated. And we have two engines, so if I throttle up, watch what happens. We get one of them burning. Now if I press 2, we get another motion of things moving around. And after everything stopped moving, I can throttle up. And that engine is firing. Wait a second. So now we have w set, set, and this one is set. Now if I say disable this light, right, so this one is now disabled. We only have this one enabled. And of course this takes a while because this one is, moves really, 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 really slowly. But uh, you have to let them move zero, really slowly. This is all, all has to work in zero G. <laughs> and come on, dock, 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 dock. There we go. So now if I throttle up again, you see that we've got that one. But what we have here, I'll press two and we'll watch them move again. There, there. And if I throttle up once again, none of them go. What we have here is a 1-bit adder, developed by 3-bit. But a 1-bit adder is like one of the core, you know, uh, logic gate constructions of computers, right? As I understand it, one side is an AND gate and the other side is an XOR gate, and they're both controlled by the bits. I mean, you can look at the pods on the side, and that's more internal state. It doesn't actually represent bits. But this is a very, very simple computational device. You know, I can set bit two on its own, you'll watch them. You have to wait until this moves before you uh, actually activate it. But once you activate it, you know, you can see we've set the we've set the output bit. If we set the second bit, and you know, I can keep doing this, we're gonna flip over, we're gonna unset the output bit and set the overflow bit or the carry bit, depending upon how you look at it, and this one takes a really long time, especially, oh my goodness, get in there, yes. <laughs> um, yes, you see, we've set the carry bit. Marvelous, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, quite possibly the slowest computational device in the world, but I hear that he is working on a 4-bit device, which I can't wait to see, uh, especially since I've had a lot of fun with this trying to, uh, well, I, sometimes I've reloaded this and found that the probes had uh, floated out. Uh, unlike a regular computer, this can lose its internal state to the depths of space. And that means you require an astronaut to kind of get out and push the bits back into place. And hopefully the internal state is at least consistent with your input-output status. But yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this little thing. It is very silly and very very nerdy and absolutely wonderful and you should take a look at what he's doing. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.